Hello, this is Dr. J back with some more Let's Play Class of Heroes 2G Remaster Edition. After getting back in the saddle, starting to record again after a three month hiatus, we completed a couple of quests last time. Uh, we disguised ourselves as a hero and saved Copa from a, a giant queen killer bee. That one was pretty annoying. We also defeated the Hell Anaconda. That was surprisingly easy. And it appears that there is another new quest available. So we are really unlocking a whole chain of quests here. Practical exam. A practical exam in the ancient labyrinth. I don't think we've been in an ancient labyrinth yet. You better come prepared. Posted by Dante, the drill sergeant. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Okay. Okay. Hey, Dante Sensei. Yes, it is us. さっそく実技試験の説明を始める。しっかりと聞いとけよ。お前らにはこれから古代の迷宮に向かってもらう。古代の迷宮にはブルスケッタ学院から異世系の道を通っていけるぞ。This all sounds like new stuff. 迷宮の最深部に用意した強力なモンスターを倒せれば、見事試験クリアだ。that's been placed there by who? You? If you die, you fail. And also, you're dead. So, there's that. I think so. Where is Bruschetta? Okay, this sounds pretty cool. Sounds like we're uh, we're actually advancing and progressing in our curriculum here at the school. Uh, let's see. Had I made a save? I'm recording these back to back, so I don't really remember. Uh, okay. Well, let's check the world map. Where is Bruschetta? I'm guessing it's going to be in this direction. Though I don't know for sure, but we'll try it. Also, if the desert is on the way, I might stop to more thoroughly explore the desert before doing the quest. Let's go. Oh, I am joined by my cat. Guest appearance in many of my LPs. So I think this is the way we want to go this time. Encounter rate was very kind to us there. I do have the game audio tuned slightly higher in this video than I did in the previous one. It felt just a tiny bit low to me in the previous one. Not to an extreme degree, but a little bit. So hopefully the audio balance is really good in this one. Oh hey, it's been a while. Poison gas. Can you do a better job disarming it than Wheeler? Actually, he didn't even correctly identify it. Well done, Aisha. Way to show him how a uh, real expert gets it done. Uh, 
All right, well, I guess we're going to find out if this is the right direction or not. Oh, maybe it's a fork off of here, off of the witch's forest. Let's definitely turn on Floator. I think there's a lot of shock tiles around here. Or Floatir, as it is localized in this version. So does anywhere here announce that it goes to Bruschetta? Oh, interesting. There are definitely some places I didn't explore all that thoroughly in here. Oh, there's some I haven't explored at all. I hadn't explored this quite as thoroughly as I thought then. Interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, there's a lot I haven't really properly explored here. Like I said, I thought I had explored it more thoroughly than this, but there's actually tons we haven't done. Interesting. Well, I think for starters, there's... Oh, I don't remember how to get there. Is it this one? Actually, I didn't even complete this map. What the heck? Is this accurate? I would have sworn that I explored more than this. I didn't somehow screw up my save files, did I? Let me double check the quests that I've done. Yeah, yeah, I did Valone's Wish. So this should be the right save file. Maybe I just had not explored nearly as much stuff as I thought. I guess that must be the case. Well, let's uh, let's start off by trying to explore more stuff here then. Okay, so that got us the first star of completion. Okay, that was correct. I apparently never explored anything on this map? Really? This is like the second map. That's hard to credit. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Well, let's uh let's actually explore this place properly then. I'm baffled that I didn't. I'd have sworn I explored the Witch's Forest a lot more thoroughly than this. So I'm just all kinds of confused. Okay, I'm glad that their ambush failed so dramatically. Oh, is it because there were these really tough enemies, at least they were tough at the time? that I couldn't handle very well, and so I decided to just not spend much time on this map, and was it these things? Is that true, or am I just making that up? Oh, we can handle them now. Alright, level 4 wheeler. We lost faith, which is... Not terrible. I think that reduces his magic resistance, though. But he gained, uh, what was it, vitality and luck. So, you know, not the worst, not the worst level up ever. Anti-magic zone. That's irritating. And if this is an anti-magic zone, we can't use magic to deal with this. We're relying on your skills, Aisha. Okay, good job. Hmm. Does that just go back where we were? It does, so that's good. I kind of want to see what's over here. Where does this go? A totally new map where I've apparently never explored. Again, I, I'm real baffled by this. I thought I explored a lot more of the Witch's Forest in this.
Should I maybe try turning Floatir on again? I don't know if this place is going to have a lot of anti-magic zones. Okay, we got teleport. Okay, good thing I did that, apparently. Shock tile right there. My instincts were dead on there. Okay, yeah, I'm not really remembering this. This layout, I mean. So, I guess we legit have not been here before. Bye. Okay, yeah, definitely a good thing I turned on float here. Sure, I mentioned this before, but this is another map where I really, really like the atmosphere. Looks really cool. Soon cat! <laughs> Lots of soon, not much dare, eh? On these cats. Well, they got breathed. It was super effective. These are the tough enemies, right? Let's Blazing Fist them. I don't know if they're really that tough to us now. They might not be. We're getting great gold from this. Good lord, just endless shock tiles. And it's a veritable teleport maze at this point. Ah, she failed to disarm it. Great. A huge proportion of the party is now poisoned. Thanks to your failure, Aisha. I'll try to pass this off. I see you down there looking like this wasn't your fault. Alright. Uh, antidote. Good lord, it costs 18. I have to cast it four times. Oh, that's rough. Now I regret removing those poison cure items from my inventory. No lesson learned there, I suppose. I didn't realize antidote was so expensive. What did I even get out of that? I wasn't even paying attention. I'm kind of tired, so... I'm going to be derping pretty hard, I think. I might even take a nap after I'm done recording this. Like my cat napping in my lap. I think she has the right idea. Yeah, this is one heck of a teleport maze. Maybe to what I was remembering is that I had just gotten through the Witch's Forest very quickly. Uh, but then my three-month-old memory distorted that into I had explored most of the Witch's Forest very quickly, which is not the same thing. I'm gonna guess that's what was going on. Stone. A block of wood. That doesn't sound very exciting. Oh yeah, one heck of a teleport maze, and since we can't put labels on this thing, unlike in uh, Etrian Odyssey, trying to mark which warp goes where, I mean, you just either have to memorize it or keep a separate map. Okay, where does this go? Somewhere totally new again. I can't really see what these are. Should I use a party skill? Why not? Let's uh let's play it safe. Yeah. That might have been totally unnecessary, but 
I just didn't feel like taking the chance that maybe it was a really tough enemy group. Magic drain. Oh, that's awful. If I just chest store it. Oh, th th that's unlock is what I was thinking of, but I don't have that. Or is it open? Yeah, it's open. Oh, no. Oh, I'm an idiot. Sorry, I misremembered completely how that all works. I remembered that there is a spell that will uh, um, automatically disarm the traps, but I think that is unlock and that we don't have it yet, so... Because of my stupidity, I just unnecessarily cost Seraphi a bunch more MP. And now she's very low. Oh well, I, uh, I remember how it works now, so we won't make that mistake again. Also, that did not go very deep into that map, did it? Hopefully Seraphia will gain a level soon, and I don't remember if that will restore her MP or not. Ho hopefully the answer is yes to both of those. Those tongue, tongue buzz are pretty nasty. You can kind of tell from how they give so much experience and uh, gold. Oh wow. And I can't blazing fist them. Well, we, uh, we're just gonna have to fight them. That's okay, we're tough enough that they're not that deadly to us, I don't think. Nice, and she stole some gold, so that was great. And then she got found, so let's just have her attack this time. I can see why these tongue buzz gave me trouble the first time that I, uh, I came here. They're pretty nasty, but we're higher level now, so we can deal with them. Wow, that soon cat's evasive, but Grum got it. Yeah, great experience in gold when we fight things with tongue buzz, so that's good. Oh geez, I almost uh, went right into a shock wall. That would have been annoying. More of them, eh? Okay, level for Grom. Gain strength and bite, lost edgy, learn some new magic, terrible hit point roll. What's your new spell? Omnisite, is that the new one? Increase everyone's accuracy, effect persistent. Yes, please. That's awesome. How much is, uh... Helios? 21. That's pretty costly. But do we want to cast it? Well, we have three people down. Well, they're not down that much. Let's hang on to it. Boy, with all these teleport mazes, fully exploring the Witch's Forest is going to be a pain. But yeah, I definitely didn't explore these maps. I have no memory of them at all. So, yeah, I, I was just misremembering that I had explored most of this area. I had not done so. Just a dead end there with a trollish shock tile.
Huh, another dead end. Interesting. Uh, where have I not gone? I think in this area I have to take this teleporter, don't I? I don't see any other options. Okay, well, if we have to, then... Makes the decision easy. And it looks like here we have no choice except to take this one. Unless there's secret doors I'm overlooking. Okay, here we do have a choice. Okay, it just leads to a chest. Bomb. Okay, she was wrong. And she got poisoned. Gosh dang it. Do I have any... Have I picked up any poison cure items? Looks like no. Oh, I have frog innards. Also, I need. I should sell the bronze coins here. I meant to do so and forgot. I'll remember at some point, hopefully. All right, where am I? There I am. So still kind of on a linear path. Okay, this may have an option though. Get out of here. Okay, so we've already been there, but it looks like that's going to be the only place we can go. Because these other ways are encounters, not teleporters. Breath seems really good against the tongue buzz. Like I'm pretty close to having fully explored this. I, I didn't get that little area. But I've gotten most of this map, I think. What the heck? Am I stuck in a circle? I gotta be missing something, because this, uh, this is a circle. I've already gone through that. So I definitely missed something. Huh. I'm looking at the borders. Oh, I just realized. Remember my complaint that the the borders of the map were really hard to see? Look, they're red now. They're much more visible. Clearly, uh, the game got patched. That's great. That's a fantastic patch. I just now noticed that. I'm really happy about that. Thank you, guys. Good patch. Good patch good decision to make those borders much more visible. Uh, but yeah, I don't I don't see anywhere else to go except that way. Yeah, I was complaining about that because it was pretty bad. But uh, I guess other people must have been complaining about that if they went to all the trouble to patch it. Yeah, so far, it's just, it's linear. I don't have any choices. Okay, okay, that was it. I can go this way instead. That's why I ended up going in a circle. Okay, so this should take me... Right, and I don't think I want to go through there, because that takes me to this. Which, unless there's a secret door, which I don't know, maybe. Maybe I should go in there again and just check for secret doors real quick. So there can't be one somewhere like here, but there could be here, or here. Are you guys tough? You look like you could be. Let's hope not. No, they're not. Good. I don't think there could be here, no, because there's a... Yeah, because of that tile one space forward and to the left okay so that really is just a tiny little alcove
Okay, so... I should gain a level. She has such a happy level up. At least she didn't lose Agi. I remember she was losing Agi left and right. In fact, she gained Agi. Good job. Oh my god, her hit point rolls are so bad. Mortal Strike. Are you sure? I question that. Okay. No. Well, hope you succeeded disarming it. Good job. All right, I think now, only thing we didn't explore is that. I'm not going to go to all the trouble to get that for the 100% right now. But I'm pretty sure that's the only thing that we have not explored on this map. So it was essentially a giant dead end. I don't think that this actually took us anywhere else. Wow. Can't Blazing Fist. That's a lot of tongue buzz. Oh, well, we're high enough level. We can handle them. Oh, okay. That They hurt him pretty good, though. Go and toss a heal on Wheeler, if you please, Seraphy. Seraphy. It would be nice if I could pronounce your name consistently. Uh, no, actually, Rob the Tongba. Okay, decent amount of gold. Alright, and then she was found. Oh, Grum just got wrecked. Go ahead and meta Helios him. That was pretty bad. Excellent. Oh, wow. It almost one shot at Aisha. Good lord. Uh, wow, that was nasty. Okay, yeah, the tongue balls are serious enemies. Okay, and the breath didn't do much that time. Whew. That was rough. I almost feel like maybe I should withdraw and rest. I think probably so. Because uh, we, we got a little wrecked. We got some good exploration in. Alright, Seraphy. Seraphy. I, I kind of like Seraphy better, but... Uh, um yeah back door okay good going back to gelato town was exactly what i wanted uh okay we might have to rest her twice because i don't think she has enough mana points to heal everybody but we have so much money at this point yeah it only costs 20 g that's fine Okay, everybody's back to full. That was easy. Um, is it worth resting Grum? Probably. I don't think that Wheeler or Candy can even use their mana points yet. Cool. Now, is there anything at the trading post or anything I want to sell for that matter? Oh wow, the dried cornet fish is worth a ton. I wonder what you make with that. Torn ribbon is probably crap. If it only costs one G. Ditto for any anything that's single digits is gonna be terrible. So there's no reason to hang on to that stuff, it's just taking up inventory space. Those I think are very common drops, so it's kinda of pointless to sell them. You'll just get tons of them anyway. Okay, I think that's fine. Let's go ahead and make a save. And back in. Back in the hole. Which is forest again. Okay, well, we're getting in some new exploration, so that is good. Yeah, I'm so happy about them having changed the borders to actually be visible. Thank you, developers. That's one of the best patches I've seen in a long time. 
This is completely off topic, but you know a patch that really irritated me? Is in uh, the newest Mario Golf. When it was first released, uh, Daisy, when she did poorly, like got a bogey on a hole or whatever, she had this hilarious whatever that she would do. And I thought it was awesome. It was like one of the best voice lines in the game. And they released a patch that changed it to her just going boo. And I hate, excuse me, I hated that. I do not know why they made that change. Like, what? Did they think her going whatever was offensive or something? It wasn't offensive, it was hilarious. It was just the stupidest thing to change with a patch. Also, that's total first world problem and a really silly thing to complain about, but I, I thought it was dumb. Anyway, Ser Seraphie gained a level. Okay, strength that's, well, maybe not pointless. She does do a lot of physical attacking. Losing edgy is not great. Gaining luck is good. Learned new magic. Okay, great hit point roll. Okay, that literally happened before I could bring up the menu to see what her new magic was. That's crazy that we got hit that fast. Oh well, I'll just bring it up now. Uh, I'm actually not sure though. Is it darkness? Is that the new thing? Oh, maybe gleam. Could be either. Regardless, she's just going to attack. Oh man, Candy's feared. That's annoying. Alright, no money on that enemy. Right, I was going to check, what is your new magic, Seraphi? I might try to wait for Candy's Sphere to wear off naturally. Although, I don't know. When that happens to a frontliner, it makes him totally useless, so I should probably cure it. Do I have any items for that? Probably not. There's a Courage Bloom. Okay. You would think that that would cure fear. It does not. I forgot to sell the coins again. One of these days, one of these days. Your paralysis. I don't know why there's two separate things to do that. That seems weird. Okay, I don't seem to have an item for it. So it's your new magic, Seraphi. Oh right, I already determined. It was either Gleam or Darkness. I told you, I'm really tired, so this was gonna be derpy. I wasn't kidding. How do I get to... Okay, like that. Interesting. That only costs eight. Fix the formation. Excuse me, I have a bit of hiccups for some reason. Alright, we know that there is a lot of anti-magic, so I don't necessarily want to turn Floatier on. Now let's continue exploring this area, since I never explored much of this map. Like I said, it was probably the Tongue Baz were just much too tough for me the first time I came here. So I probably got wrecked by them and was like, screw this, and uh, <laughs> just decided not to be on the map very much. I'm guessing that was the case. Viewers can probably confirm or deny, because they would have probably watched the relevant episode a lot more recently than I recorded it. Nice work, team. Those things are so ridiculous looking. <laughs> Their existence offends me and they must die. Their death sound is appropriately ridiculous. Okay, I have not been to that exit down there. More tongue bars. Oh, 
Down they go. Let's get that chest over there. Stone. Huh, anything interesting up there? Probably another teleporter. But uh, let's beeline for this. Mm, should I cast Flow too, just so I can go over the water? Seems like kind of a waste of MP, but I kind of want to do it. There. A lot of these tongue bars. No wonder I didn't want to spend much time on this map before. Yeah, yeah, we, we all knew that was coming. That's right, yeah, it's got cursor memory. Okay, Sherry gained a level. Gained strength, Vite. Not a great hit point roll. Didn't, I don't think it said she got any new magic or anything. And I don't see that she has any new magic. Sword is a Swede. Another new map. Well, we're going to explore a lot more of the Witch's Forest this episode, and that's pretty fun, because the Witch's Forest is really cool. So I am perfectly happy to spend an episode like this. This is a cool location. Great ambush, guys. Nailed it. Witch's Forest likes teleport mazes. Lots of maps with them. Makes exploring challenging. Good work, Aisha. I'm really starting to get into this again. There's always a little bit of inertia when you haven't played a... Well, I say you, but I guess I'm really just talking about me. Though I'm sure I'm not the only person who experiences this phenomenon. Uh, but anyway, uh, there's always some inertia where if I haven't played a game in a really long time, especially if it's something like an RPG, where it's easy to kind of lose track of what was going on, and like maybe what kind of party build you had going on, or what kind of equipment you were trying to, trying to get, and all that sort of thing. So that it almost feels a little... I guess intimidating is putting it too strongly, but there's a bit of a mental block to picking it back up again. But uh, now that I've done so, and I'm uh, getting back into this, playing it again, I'm starting to get really into it again. Really having fun. Which I figured would happen. You just kind of have to get over that initial block. And like I said, I was just so busy and tired from work that I just wasn't recording anything. I was using my limited energy for other things. Okay, that's another exit we haven't gone through. Through we go. Okay, it's another angle on this map. Looks like it's just going to be a tiny little alcove. Oh, never mind. Nope, I was wrong. I just couldn't see that side passage from where I was. 
Oh, interesting. I actually could have come here a while ago, apparently. And I just never did. Well, I'm going to backtrack for now, though. Because there's plenty of this map right here we haven't explored yet. Man, Witch's Forest is a huge location. I do kind of miss the ability to set music like we had in the first game. I thought that was a really, really good feature. I don't hate the atmosphericness of there not being any music while you explore and just having the sound effects. I do think that's cool. So I don't hate it, like I said, but uh, I do think I prefer having music. I think it feels a little more dynamic, a little more interesting when you've got background music playing. And uh, Class of Heroes has pretty good dungeon calling music, I think. I still need to actually uh, record all that dungeon music. Like I said, I was considering doing during the first playthrough. Unless somebody else has already done that. I should check to see if anyone has already posted the Class of Heroes tracks. But if not, uh, trying to take advantage of my vacation to uh, finally do that is... Well, the things I should focus on if I have the time. If I have the time. Always the problem. There's a variety of things that I might or might not do, and it's kind of up in the air depending on... Depending on certain other things that do or don't happen on my vacation. I should probably heal Candy. She got kind of beat up there. Trying to block my way out? Foolish fools. You'll pay with your lives. Quit beating up Candy. Oh my gosh, guys. Yeah, you better run. Did I just get super trolled? Oh, okay. It just spun me. I, I was afraid that it had teleported me. <laughs> I'm afraid that is going to be a teleporter over there. I kind of want to see where this goes. Does this go, does this go to Br Bruschetta? Alright, so you appear to be a Diabolos. I feel like your voice and your appearance are at odds a little bit. Did you just call yourself Flansama? Okay. I think I picked the correct direction to get to the ancient uh, ancient ruins then. This seems right. Should I call it an episode here? I feel like this is kind of the perfect spot to call it an episode. And we're at about 45 minutes, so it's a pretty good length. Oh, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and make a save. And we're going to let Flan show us around this academy and continue our explorations and see if it leads to the ancient ruin in the next episode. I'll see you then.